So let's just see how we can insert elements in a B tree. Construct a B tree of order 4 with the following set of data. So here we have the set of data to construct a B tree. So here the order of the B tree should be 4. That means the maximum key per node should be order of the tree minus 1. So that means it will be 4 minus 1. So this will be 3. And the maximum child per node should be m which is 4. So that means suppose we have a node. So the node maximum can have 3 keys. So k1, k2, k3 and it can have maximum of 4 child. So this is child 1, child 2, child 3 and child 4. So here we have the given list of data. So we're gonna start from left to right. So initially we're gonna start with one empty tree. So that means we're gonna create one empty node and we're gonna insert the value 10. So next we have 20. So that means we can insert the 20 right here next to 10. So next we have the value 5. So that means we can insert the 5 right here in the node. But because we have to maintain the order of the key. So their order should be in ascending order. So that means the 5 should be inserted right here. So we have 5, 10, 20. So we have the ascending order maintained. So next we have 6. So 6 should be inserted right here in between 5 and 10. But because here the order is 4. So that means the maximum number of key that we can have is 3. So if we have more than 3 keys that means we have to break this node in 2 parts. So here we have the values 5, 6, 10 and 20. Now we have to break this in 2 parts. Either we can choose 6 as the median. So that means 6 will be lifted up as the root node. And on the left side we are going to have 5 and on the right side we are going to have 10 and 20 if we follow the left biasing. Otherwise, we have the values 5, 6, 10 and 20. If we chose 10 as the median, if we lift this as the root node, that means on the left side we're gonna have 5 and 6 and on the right side we're gonna have 20. So this is when we chose the right biasing. So we can either choose the right biasing or we can choose the left biasing we can choose either of them. So in this video we're gonna choose this left biasing. That means the 6 will be the root node. So that means the 6 will be the root node. Now on the left side we're gonna have this 5 and on the right side we're gonna have 10 and 20. So next we have to insert 12. So because 12 is greater than 6 that means 12 should be inserted right here in this node. So 12 should be inserted in between 10 and 20. So that means this 20 will be shifted and 12 will be inserted right here. So we have 10, 12, 20. So the order of the key is maintained in ascending order. So next we have to insert 30. 30 is greater than 6. So that means 30 should be inserted right here. But we can have maximum of 3 keys. So that means we have to break this node. So here we have 10, 12, 20 and 30. So we have to break this in two parts. 12 will be lifted up as a root node. On the left side we're gonna have 10. On the right side we're gonna have 20 and 30. So that means the 12 will be lifted up on this root node. So 12 will be lifted right here. Now on the left side of 12 we're gonna have this node 10. And on the right side we have 20 and 30. So on the right side we're gonna have the values 20 and 30. So next we have to insert 7. So 7 is greater than 6 less than 12. So 7 should be inserted right here in this node. So because 7 is less than 10 so 7 will be inserted in front of this node 10. Next we have 17. 17 is greater than 12 so 17 should be inserted in this node. So because we have to maintain the order of the key in ascending order so that means 17 should be inserted before this 20 and 30. So next we have 35. So 35 is greater than 12. So that means 35 should be inserted in this node. Now because we can have maximum of 3 keys 
so that means you have to break this node so here we have 17 20 30 and 35 so here the median is 20 so that means the 20 should be lifted up as the root node on the left side we're gonna have 17 on the right side we're gonna have 30 and 35 so that means here this 20 will be lifted up to the root node so it will be part of the root node now on the left side of 20 we're gonna have this node 17 now on the right side we're gonna have 30 and 35 so here on the right side of 20 we're gonna have 30 and 35 so next we have to insert 8 8 is greater than 6 less than 12 so 8 should be inserted in this node in between this 7 and 10 so that means here in this node we're gonna have 7 8 and 10 so next we have to insert 9 so 9 is greater than 6 less than 12 so 9 should be inserted in this node so that means here we're gonna have 7 8 9 and 10 here 8 will be the median so 8 will be lifted as the root node on the left side we're gonna have 7 on the right side we're gonna have 9 and 10 if we lift the 8 right here here also we're gonna have 4 keys so that means we have to break this particular node also so here we're gonna have 6 8 12 and 20 so we have to break this node in two parts 8 as the median so 8 will be lifted as the root node on the left side we're gonna have 6 on the right side we're gonna have 12 and 20 so that means here we have to break this 8 will be the root node on the left side we're gonna have 6 so here on the left side we're gonna have the node 6 so on the right side of 8 we're gonna have 12 and 20 and this node is broken in two parts so here this node 7 will be on the right side of the node 6 and this node 9 and 10 will be on the left side of 12. So here on the left side of 12 we're gonna have this node 9 and 10. So here we're gonna have 9 and 10. Now on the right side we're gonna have the node 17. Now on the right side of 20 we're gonna have this node 30 and 35 so you can see this will be our final output so here you can notice all the insertion is done in the leaf node now when any node reaches this max key limit then we break that node into multiple parts and we lift the median as the root node so this way we repeat this process and we construct the entire B tree so here the order of the tree is very important because based on that we decide the max key that we can have and the max number of child that any node can have. So hope you understand about the construction of the B tree. See you in the next one. Take care.